So today I got a 2006 uh, uh, Dodge Charger. That would be a Charger RT, an 06. So everything's already, I mean, most of the Dodge, all the battery mainly in the back. So they already ran uh, the wire already. I usually don't like to run it like this. I usually run the uh, the uh, the fuse holder and I leave it right there. But since they already ran it already and the wire is already short, I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure the uh, power wire is not touching any ground, anything like that. I'm going to tape that up before I do anything. So I'm going to run the uh, a 200 amp fuse, at least 150 or 200 for this amp I'm going to be installing. So I'm going to plug right there. They already ran a ground already. It looked pretty good. I'm going to show you later on that part. And uh, back over here, uh, they already ran. Uh, for some reason, somebody must have took the uh, the radio out of this. So what I'm going to do, it's a CR26. The replacement would be, the name on it would be uh, Crux dash five four this is for uh, amplify and non amplify so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run all this power wire uh the speaker wire and everything and uh and just plug it in the mounting kit that you will need is the uh 95 since i'm putting a double den player on here 95 I'm gonna do a 996510. 95 considered as double den, but on this case, it's 996510. Here to the shop, I install uh, two extra LED light, which is a lot better. I can see without, uh, I got four light up there already, but it, the light ain't so great. So i am uh, got two more lights, and also I got this light right here also, and well back to our radio install uh i'm just gonna wire this but i'm gonna fast forward make it faster it's a big mess today because i just uh, remodeled this thing so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run this wire first right there this this is the wire that's gonna be asking for a uh amplifier or non-amplifier so this is uh i think this is uh this new model is called a, that uh, C uh, Crux Dash 54. It's made in August of 2021. I think they make it better because last time they have a little plug right there. If you haven't seen it before, it's a, a, a little bit different from here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna strip this. I'm gonna strip majority of this real quick because you know we gotta go fast on it.
Now, since this, this model is the uh, AVH-291BT, I usually run the uh, light green wire and the black wire right here to the ground. That way, if they want to, uh, to uh, delete the uh, Bluetooth, they can. If, if you don't install that one, you, it will not work. So the rest of them, I'm going to tape it all up. Actually, it required this remote wire to work. So I'm going to... Customer had it like this already. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to strip it instead of uh, do anything else. I just strip it. And mainly, a lot of people that I know, when they tape this thing up, they don't tape it right. When you wanna, when you tape something like this, you wanna make sure you tape at least from one end to another end. Make at least instead of just one up and down, not up and down, one round. You wanna make it about three rounds to be about two inches right there, so it won't come out. But this part right there, I have to tape off too. So this will go to a remote of an amplifier. Everything else, I'm gonna just tape it. It does not have a reverse wire. Tape that up. And then I'm ready to hook this thing up. But in order to do that, I need to run the, uh, the mounting kit. So for the mounting kit, I don't need to use this because this is for, uh, this is for like a single den. This is a double den, so you remove this cup holder or uh, whatever you call that so I'm removing all that right there this will have uh, I usually look at the the letter right there this should be on the top and then this is on the bottom because I uh, usually I see in the factory I put a factory right next to it and be able to tell real quick in this case there's gonna be a left and a right so Left right there, say left. Oh, that ain't, that don't look right. It might have go like this. So I might be up and down. Let me see if I'm right. So left. Oh. I'm going to take a look at the bracket. Left should be this way, so left gonna be like this. So I'm guessing, yeah, I was right. The uh, right here, the letter that say Metra, and then you want on the left, which means that this hole right there is gonna be on the top. So I got plug like that, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide the uh, radio in. don't want to work me either day so right there slide it in and then I got it all the way in like that so what you will need is the screw I keep a bunch of screw this screw is not made for that so don't use it that made for this part right there so I need a fill it and you always want to make sure that the screw don't go too 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 deep if it go too deep it will damage something in there i'm not sure what it damage but it definitely damaged something so i got this screw in there and i always using drill so make sure there ain't nothing inside it. so as you can see right there and put another screw right there you see what I mean by this? See this screw? If you're looking at it right there, see? You don't want to use this long. You want to use about uh, less than half of an inch. Not exactly sure. I can't remember that. I'm not so good at the uh, standard size. So it might be uh, less than half would be uh, 7, 16 maybe. Not exactly sure. I just kind of knew that what I have to do. So you got this right right there. So all you have to do is plug this back in there. Well, you want to make sure that everything is taped up really good. Don't miss anything. 
for this will damage or make getting it short so I don't want to have it short so I got all everything really good uh, see right there it will say amplifier and non amplifier I will show you how to see if it's got amplifier or non amplifier let's go to the car so back at the uh, radio the, I will show you how to look at see if it's got a built-in uh, uh, amplifier or not. In order to do that, you want to count this 2, 4, 6, and 8. So you got 8, most of them right there. On the top one, if you can see right here, I'm not sure, can't see. Uh, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab the camera. Here's what I mean by that. So you're looking right there, you got the speaker, the white, the gray, and then the green and the uh, uh, purple so what you want to do you want to look at the plug right there when you plug it in most of them have only two it doesn't have all eight of this wire right there so let's say i'm gonna plug it in like so see so it it does not have a built-in amplifier okay if it's got a built-in amplifier it have only like two right there two on the bottom i meant so it don't really have this wire up here. So this does not have built-in amplifier. It should be, but I don't know why. It's got two six by nine, four six by nine. We'll find out in a second. See what play. If it doesn't play, it would not, you cannot hurt this thing, okay? Let's say you plug on the amplifier and it's not working. Just move it and plug on the non-amplifier. It's not gonna hurt anything. As long as you have this harness, you are good to go. So, I got this plug. I'm just going to plug it to the radio. I'm going to plug this to the subwoofer of the amp. Uh, it will say SW or rear view. As you can see right there. Uh, see? R. That means a rear, uh, rear channel and subwoofer. They combo. And this is for like a video camera and everything. So I plugged this. I ran the uh, USB wire right there out here so you can reach it to here. I usually leave it right there. And uh, I'm going to plug everything. Antenna, you will need CR10 right there for this model. CR10 and then there, uh, this uh, RCA jack that I mentioned about. And then the antenna is already hooked up. So... Here's what we're waiting for. Hooked up everything. Uh, the heat is on. I'm going to turn that off a little bit. Not turn it off a little bit. Just turn it completely off. I'm going to click this one. There's no sound. So most like... Oh, oh, there's sound. Hold on, hold on. Let's press that button. Put a radio station. Volume up. Okay, uh, I don't have... Uh, uh, the screw is all missing, so I'm just put one screw on the bottom right here and one screw on the top right. And everything working good. So we are good to go. And uh, you got to adjust the uh, speaker right there. I'm going to put loud on high. And uh, uh, whoop. Going down to subwoofer setting, make sure the subwoofer is on for your sub to work. And bass boost, I'm going to put it plus two. Now I'm going to hook up the amp. Put everything up yet, I want to make sure everything is good. If the subwoofer output from the back here is working or not. If not, I will put on the front uh, output. So, go into the amp. What I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of look through here. This is a big amp, so most of you got a small amp. So you okay, uh, the big amp, but make sure it's not too much. You see, as you can see right there, I kind of close this thing up and see where I should put it at. So I, right there, making sure I come down and I'm uh, right there. So I'm going to hit this part a little bit. That's fine. So now I'm going to hook up the power, the ground and everything because the power has to be that side. I don't want to put it up there. It's hard to do. And uh, I'm going to tell the customer to... When they open this, to, to be careful when they open that uh, seat right there. So I'm going to hook up the positive to the the power. I'm going to show you. Now I'm going to 
the blue wire in here is the uh i'm gonna hook up this fuse after i'm done with everything right now um this is a 200 amp fuse so i'm not gonna do that right now i'm gonna re uh remove not remove actually i'm gonna loosen this uh stop bit right here call it torx so i'm gonna remove it almost all the way up you want to make sure uh it's there's no nothing out here in the hole there should be zero right there so we we are running the art this is double art gauge it's pretty huge so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut this wire again I got a big cutter, I might have to use that, but let me see if I can use this. I can, I just had to do it slowly. I do have a bigger one, but like I said, improvise. Oh. So what I'm doing, you can either use the knife to cut it right here, you want to cut about Depend on the side right there, you can look right there. It's about that much right there. So what you want to do, you will gonna come up here and then put about that much too. So I'm gonna use this still. You don't want it too long or you don't want it too short, okay? So now I got this cut around it like that. I'm gonna take a knife, peel that out like that, and then grab this. So now you don't want to mess with this too much. You want to be twisted a little bit so it'll go in. And you don't want no copper sticking out either. So you want to go easy on that. And make sure you're on the 12 volt, not anything else. Tighten that. Now that is 12 volt. Make sure it's on a, a positive 12 volt. And then now I got, I'm going to remove the ground. They already had the ground done already. I'm going to show you how they did the ground. So, I'm going to do better. I'm going to use my tool. Alright, uh, here's his tool. It's the metal cutter. Uh, wire cutter. It doesn't cost that much. Like most people think it is. So what you want to do, you want to crimp it to here. And then you want to loose this piece right there. This clip right there. And then you just keep pushing it like that. It's like a hydraulic looking. So, now... As you can see, it cut all the way right there, see? And then you can move this out again, right there. And don't, make sure you don't put your finger in there, it's sharp. I mean, depend on how you want to spend it, you can spend anywhere from 50 to $250 for one of these two right there. You don't, you don't really need it, don't buy it. I just bought it not too long ago, so everything else I use Cheap, cheaper tool but uh, in my case right now I do a lot of this thick wire right there so like I said you want to do about an inch and then take a knife sure there are no wires sticking out and as I mentioned earlier about getting all this thing in a lot of people what they did they didn't get this uh, screw out all the way on top and when they push a the wire the, the uh, coppers be sticking out you don't want that push it in right there make sure nothing sticking out you can see ain't nothing sticking out and then now next thing I'll get is the ground I got the remote wire. I got the ground already. I got the remote wire. I'm going to pull out here. And I usually cut it a new one. Strip it. Depend on some remote or cheap, you cut them easy. If, if that's the case, what you want to do, you want to use a lighter and do that. And make sure you try to pull it 
and make sure you're not hitting the rubber or the plastic I should say plastic the insulation you call that and make sure when you pull it it's not come right out so all you have to do right now uh, you want to put this jack right there to the input side of the amp it doesn't matter where the blue or green or red jacks what side it is as long as you put on the input you are good to go so now I'm gonna show you previous guy right there got the ground right there and they're using two self tapping screw which I'm okay with it you know it's not the best but I, it's okay with it I do have a bigger screw that I'll show you on the other channel about which one's better which one's not which one's better so anyway so I'm gonna clean this up later I'm gonna run the speaker wire to the I'm gonna put the uh, the fuse holder in now in my case right here, I'm going to use the 200 amp uh, fuse, uh, it's called a &L fuse right here. I started from the hook looking light right here first. So, oh, I meant this side first. And tighten it. I need to find my uh, different uh, bits. So I got my Stanley bits right there. This is a T T thirty, so it is huge. So make sure this is tight. A lot of people they didn't tie this tight enough, and it's. Uh, damage the wire that's why the wire keep burning so uh, what I would do I would try to put it right there and then uh, take a 10 millimeter loose this up and stick this in there and tighten it back so got my 10 mil millimeter and you must be careful right there you know if the the easiest way to do is take the ground out first and do it, but since I'm used to this, so just don't touch this metal part right there. Don't, do not touch the ground, I meant. It's almost coming out. And do not drop that, uh, the nuts right there because if you do you're gonna have to take the whole battery out so be careful take it easy right there Cut the zip tie and close it all back. Make sure nothing touch anything. And he got this off because uh, he he put the 15 in here. All the 15, you gotta take that out first. I don't know where they at, so I'm just gonna put the speaker back in for him. Uh, that's a 15 inch, so it's a struggle. Now, in order to put the 15, now you got two, two hands today, my guy's out here, so I'm going to have to do it by myself. I'm going to put the speaker in here first. Now, speaker I'm running is a 14 gauge, because this is uh, not a VFL, this is probably a X, XD, so I'm a... Put it first, I'm not going to cut anything yet. Push and stick it in. Same as the other one. Push and stick it in. Now, put my tool up here. I'm going to try to lift it. Just have to be careful. This is going to be this way, so I'm going to get this one in first. 
it's heavy, so. Oh my gosh! Shoot! So, now I'm gonna do it this side. The red go to the red, the black go to the black. The red usually is a positive. And this is probably the longest install that I video recorded without cutting anything much. So I'm put the red to the red terminal. Hopefully they hook it up inside right. If not, it's going to sound really low. And one of them be hitting forward, the other one be hitting backwards. So I'm going to put the wire in there so I can pull the wire later. I'm going to try to push it all in. Hopefully it's not too hot for me. Use your legs, not your back. So, got it in like that. It's big. Hmm. Hold on. Tilt it a little bit. It's not easy. Up, oh, it went in. And push it in like so. Now I'm gonna pull the power wire, uh, speaker wire from this one. So here's what I do. I want to pull all the wire out like so and put it in the middle right there and then run the wire back over here see what I need, what I don't need. So I'm gonna need about that long right there. I don't want it too short. And then just cut the middle right there and plug the positive positive and the negative the negative. Guys, after I install it, I just realized that this thing is the uh, uh, this thing is without the navigation. Now, what you want to look at is the uh, if this Dodge uh, charger or Magnum or whatever. It's got I I I totally. I mean, I saw someone that did it early. I didn't really look through thoroughly to this thing. So this is not the right mounting kit. The ninety five sixty five ten is not the mounting kit. The right one would be. 95 65 19 i show you why because what happened is you're going to have to take all these off that off and then put it on here what you want to do right now you want to unplug that piece and then that plug right there this is the uh, heater control now i'm gonna have to remove all that out so put it right there i'm take my fillet back in here it's pretty easy Making sure my camera is recording. All this work for nothing, right? It's not that bad. Pretty simple, quick and easy. So I'll put this thing back. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to remove the old piece out. I'm gonna need, what I need to do is the, uh, this thing is uh, four millimeters. So it's gonna be hard to find a four millimeter. The, the easiest way to do this, if you don't have any tools, take one of the uh, needle nose and just spin this around. My case, I got four millimeters. It's pretty easy. Right there, take one out. There's four of them. Remove all four of them out. And you're, going, you're still going to need that. I'm not sure if the new one's got it or not. So I'm going to remove one out. I got another one in for the uh, uh, flasher for the emergency. What, I don't know what that is. I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Flasher emergency airbag thing. And then you're going to still have to remove this out too by taking the flathead. I haven't done one of these for a while. So uh, I it's off. Flat hat right there. Push pry this out. The clip. 
one of them out and then the middle one and then the end that's it so this is out i'm gonna keep it on one side i'm gonna take it uh 996518 they got double and single i don't know why they do that oh that look a little bit different hold on oh you gotta remove this part out this is probably the first time i've done one of these in a long while so what you want to do it's the right one so i'm gonna have to break all these thing out except the middle one right here i believe i'm gonna that one out and that one out just twist it it'll come out and then put this thing back in there hopefully i don't have to cut anything out hold on oh yeah you don't have to cut it out so See this hook right there start from that side and then push it in make sure it go into that clip not gonna break anything make sure all of them are right in the align it see here the clip clip just don't break them see it's in right now so we got this in now we're gonna put the uh, the emergency and then put that four millimeter back in easy if you're using a drill just easy with it you're not you're not you're gonna damage it and it won't tight so I'm gonna put this back in there the uh, controller heater controller and it should go in one way so See how easy I go. And right there. Last one right there. And then the rest of them are easy. What they did, they uh they make this thing bigger for this uh bracket right there. You see this bracket right here? And it's gonna go in like exactly like this right there so it's perfect fitting so in order for it to be perfect fitting there's another piece that I have to pull it out from here the same thing as I used earlier that mounting bracket now it does come with screw and stuff like that and some uh, clips for the, the right here so you can tight it or you can use the old one right there but in my case, I'm gonna use this, the the one that came with it. So I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get the radio in first. So same thing as I did 6510. You got left and then you got the right. Now remember, this this hole is on the top. So and then I'm gonna right side right there, and then left side. So now I'm gonna slide the radio in. Trust me, it don't matter how many times you've done stuff like this. Sometimes if you're really not careful, look look at it, you're going to have the same problem as I, I am, which is not good because you don't have much time to mess around. So wasting time because, you know, you got next customer coming in. Like, I, I have an appointment at what, what time, what time, you know. Some people get mad, some people understand because stuff like this is not easy. I can't tell how long I be doing stuff. It's like you take a call to a mechanic, they tell you two hours. It could be longer. Depend on the work they be doing or what they found out. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, it's not, everything is not the same. So here, what I got right now, I got everything looking good right here. I can't, I gotta adjust a little bit to make it look prettier. Move that back out a little bit. That, Tight loosen the screw.
right there. So that's kind of how you adjust this piece. Just had to adjust it around. You'll you'll find out once you're doing it. And I'm done with this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna put all the clip back in here. Take this clip, remove all the clip. Oh, they do give some screw with it too, so that's perfect. And put it in one at a time, and take a hammer or a little uh, flat hat or whatever and tap it in there easy. I got some little hammer. Don't hit it too hard now. You got six of them to put it back in there. I went to another shop and uh, he said he can't do it, which I, I don't blame him. I, he did check it because he, he he probably, you know, have the experience that he can't do the double then. You can do a single then, but you can't do a double then unless you have this piece that I got right here. I, I done a different kind. It looked the same. So all them dots, yeah. I didn't hit it. So I got all this right here, you can see. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and screw this thing in and then finish it up. I don't need to use the screw that came with it. So I got the bottom one all the way screw right there and the top screw right there and leaving this thing open, no, no screw right there. So now I'm gonna plug all this plug back in and plug this and I should be good. As you can see right there, I'm about ready to push it in, but before I do all that, I'm gonna turn the radio on again to make sure the radio come on, nothing was loose, anything like that, and then I just push it in, I'm done. Now it's all done. Everything works, so I'll make sure all these things are good. I'm gonna take a good picture of this. I should have cleaned it first, but it's working. Yep. Whoop. Can't have that sound. So it's ready. You can see right here. Yep. It's a new dash right there. All the same color because it's black. Some of them are silver. 